All right, I'm making another video. I've been worn out videos, and uh, I've started to make this video hundreds of times, not hundreds, a couple of times. I get off on something else. So without going anywhere but here, I want to talk about this. It's a new 12 volt extreme uh, DeWalt impact. Uh, and of course, I'm sure, you know, Milwaukee, Bosch, and all them other people make uh, 12 volt impacts. I don't know how they work. I've always been a DeWalt person. Uh, I used to frame uh, what we call uh, pole barns or what a lot of you may call barn dominiums or whatever. Uh, I used to frame and build those. Uh, several years ago back in my younger days i done that for four or five years and uh back then about all you had was the 18 volt dewalt uh xrp or I, whatever i think they called it so that's when i started or you know we used the walk because we'd be out in the middle of the field sometimes uh, sometimes we built them into homes. Sometimes we built them into hay barns. Sometimes we built them into garages, kind of like this. So you didn't have power all the time, is what I'm getting at. And uh, we used a lot of cordless stuff uh, when we would screw the sheet metal on. Uh, and at the time, you know, there were a couple other uh, cordless power tools out. Uh, DeWalt was about the biggest one, and that's what we used. And with that 18 volt XRP stuff, uh, they had a skill saw that was uh, took it that took a seven and a half inch blade, just like a regular corded skill saw took. And we would rip down 20 foot uh, lumber, two by sixes, two by eights, uh, the long ways, the 20 foot ways, and never it never bound down had a problem nor did it run the battery down like the cheaper like uh and not knocking it because it may come a long way since then i don't use it and it's fine for homeowner use but like the uh uh crash ban and that kind of stuff did and back then uh the best of my knowledge uh and it may have been around but it wasn't real popular around here milwaukee wasn't really that popular or it wasn't around and uh you know, so we started out using the walk. It done really, really well for us uh, doing that kind of thing. So, uh, you know, over the years, I have, like in my company vehicle, I have had some Milwaukee stuff, and uh, it's pretty costly. I know a lot of people that take great luck out of it, but I had two of the the cordless uh, drills, hammer drills or whatever, uh, combo. And uh, I had two of them burn up in about a matter of six months. And that was my last dealings with Milwaukee, even though, uh, you know, it was in a company vehicle. Uh, I replaced it with like the Harbor Freight Hercules brand. And honestly, uh, it's about as good as the wall is you know i don't use it just all the time but i have used the hercules quite a bit because i had two of them uh and one i used uh i used to do little side jaws building decks and whatnot and uh i put as many screws in with it and done pretty good so that's why i used the wall the other brands may be just as well and they may make them like this uh, now, but uh, that's just what it is. So that's a little backstory on why I used the wall. And I use it in here. Uh, the last kit I got was like a combo kit or whatever come with a skill saw. Not all of it was the XR, but uh, like the uh, impact and the drill was, like what you see hanging up on the wall back here. And I even got the little uh, 3 8 Atomic 3 8 uh, 
and packs. I think it's got like, I don't know how many foot pounds. I torque it's got, I don't tell. And then I've got the big half inch drive and it'll take uh, skid steer wheels and tires off, tractor wheels and tires off. It's pretty, I think it's a uh, 1300 foot pounds break away and 700 foot pounds put on just about like your air would be. But anyway, uh, DeWalt's always done me pretty good and been good for me. Of course, I don't use it all the time or, you know, every day. Not down here, I don't. I used to, though, quite a bit. And like I say, I've had a good look at it. But I'm rambling again. I just like to give you a little backstory of where I'm going and why I do the things I do. Not that I feel like that I have to, but just to give you a little info uh, that I'm not trying to blow smoke. I'm not trying to sell DeWalt products. They don't. I don't make anything off this or whatever. So uh, I really have nothing to gain. But if they did want to give me some money, that'd be cool. Uh, I had a 20 volt impact I use in here quite a bit, but I don't use them on saws. I always use this one uh, because the 20 volt, which it had three settings, three was a little too much on saws and two didn't seem like it was <clears throat> quite enough. And, uh, so there you go. Uh, I always use, use this and always had pretty good luck, except with a couple of the newer 572 Huskies. Uh, I never stripped a screw out going into plastic or whatever, you know, uh, any bolt and screw. I always do tighten the exhaust. Uh, like the bar boxes up on the steels with the bigger impact. <clears throat> and this leads me to why I got this. Okay, so. This is the 12 volt extreme. And the reason why I had to get this. Uh, if you're watching. Somebody was using it to work on some trailer lights. And they set it on the bumper of my work truck. And forgot it. So I drove off next morning and it's down the road somewhere. But crap happens. You get the gooseneck rewired and uh, it's all good. So anyway, I was needing another impact. Or, you know, wanting to replace the one that got gone because uh, I use them quite a bit around home and and down here in the in the garage messing with uh saws and whatnot i was over at lowe's and i got and i was looking i was going to get the 20 volt atomic kind of like this 3 h drive when I, I showed you they're pretty expensive you can get them in a combo deal yada 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 but i got to look at these this is the 12 volt it's stream from dewalt Uh, I don't know how new this is. I'm, I'm assuming it's fairly new. I hadn't really seen it, which I just don't go out shopping and looking for DeWalt products all the time uh, until I need something. But I'm assuming it's fairly new stuff. Uh, and it's, it's not terribly priced. And what I like about this is... I knew the specs on it. It's like at, on level three right here. It's lit up. On level three, I'm wanting to say it's got like 1,450 or 1,550 inch pounds. And I think the 20 volt DeWalt Atomic or DeWalt XR, one of them, it only has like 1,800 or 1,850. So, inch pounds. Uh, and that, and this one's got 1450 on level three. And this one was dang near half the price if you just buy the impact, which I ended up buying the little bitty uh, brushless drill extreme subcompact. It's got a lot of power as well. like zero to 15 it's got 1500 rpm and level two so that's pretty good but about this i went with this because on level three 
it's about as stout as a 20 volt impact. And I don't know where my other 20 volt impact is. It's hanging up here. And I'm gonna assume it is. I don't swear to it, but I'm gonna assume. Uh, and I don't know if I got that screw here that I had or not. I was messing around driving them in the other day. I may not have. Uh, but I'm going to get it. I'm going to go get one. I want to show you. Now, I know this don't really have nothing to do with saws, but it kind of does because another thing on level two, this thing is like this one when it's fully charged. So I know I can put this on level two and I like the new batteries on these 12 volts because like that old school one, it don't show the power bar and these do like the 20 volts. So that one battery's charged. These are both fully charged at three. Yeah. And uh, we're going to do a little driving test and see. I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty close. I can't swear to it because, you know, I don't know. But they claim that it will be. Or, you know, that the foot bounds are pretty close. So this is on th level three with a 12 volt string. I think this is like a seven or eight inch screw gutter screw i think or something like that was a better battery yet it was because i run this the other day and it only had two bars i'm gonna do that test again one more time with a, with a good battery like i say i don't think the batteries are going to last as long as a 20 volt one would but i'm not going to be doing this kind of work with this i just wanted to show the strength of it rather Once 
means for 20 volt with a 7 amp runtime uh, battery. I don't know if we got any two and a half amp. I don't even know if that really makes that big of a difference. Yeah. This one's probably a little better. There it is. But. Twenty volt, but the thing is, this is a whole lot heavier than what this is. And mainly, I got this, like say, because of uh, the metal setting. It's about like that one is. On that, I can work on saws, or I can put something in heavy duty if I need to. But the uh, odds of me having to put something in that heavy duty. It's going to be slim to none. But it's tailored uh, for both things. And this is a whole lot cheaper. This drill and in impact combo, extreme 12 volt combo kit, was a whole lot cheaper than the 20 volt XR uh, DeWalt combo kit. I think this was like 200 bucks. 100 you just say 100 bucks a piece it came with two batteries and a charger uh you, you know that's pretty good and i think the xr kits uh, north of 300 uh give or take some i'm sure you can shop around find cheaper get discounts and whatnot so uh if you're looking for impact if you get tired of uh, turning by hand screws by hand or whatever when you're working on your saws or anything smaller for that matter uh, and you can buy just the impact itself if you don't want the drill. I got the drill just because, uh, like for me drilling out my chainsaw bars and whatnot. Uh, my other two drills, uh, they do okay, but I've had them for a long time. They've had a lot of use on them, and uh, I figured while I was getting, might as well cheap. It was overall cheaper, more expensive to buy both of them, but uh, if you average it out, it was cheaper to get them in a combo than it was to buy them individually, uh, is what I'm getting at. So uh, anyway, that's what I wanted to show y'all. If you're in the market, and I watch uh, one guy, I think he's got a snap-on that's got different power modes and all that kind of deal, or different you know settings, but uh, and it's a smaller light deal. He works on his saws with them. But, you know, staff on craft's outrageously high. And uh, this DeWalt stuff, it, it comes with Lowe's warranty. Uh, I walk in, so they say it better be. I walk in, if this messes up within two years, it costs a little, like, 20 extra dollars. But within two years, if this messes up, I walk in and grab another one, and I'm good. So... If you're in the market for these, and these batteries, you can find, you know, they got replacement batteries about at every uh, major Home Depot, Lowe's, hardware store there is, and or you can find them on eBay. So, and the old, uh, like this is a XR 2 amp, 12 volt battery. It works in there as well. Uh, so, just a little bit of info that I wanted to share with y'all. And uh, maybe it'll help somebody if they're looking at something. Uh, to me, that thing's pretty stout. And if you need it, it's mild. And then it's wild is what I'm getting at. So, you know, if you're looking for something like that, that may be for you. We'll catch you on the next one. See you later.